Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? How are you doing? Well, if you are Kim Kardashian, you have had a horrible week, baby. We're about to outline that. But guess what? Kim's out here saying that she wants to date a doctor, a scientist, an attorney, baby. You need to literally try to date some Garnet Fruit Trees deep conditioning mash, and then maybe we'll see about things. Y'all, let's get into this because... <laughs> You cannot make this stuff up. But do you think she's actually like stinging because Anna went hard dister, right? Let's talk about this week she had. Candace Owens came and dragged her, said she was a prostitute and her mom was a PIMP for real, right? Candace came for her. Again, I think it had to do with something with Kim breaking up. Candace's long-standing friendship with Kanye. But listen, she's wearing Ye Yeezy Gap uh, sunglasses now, so maybe, I don't know, they're getting back to where they were. But that's not even it. Forget Candace, right? There's Doja Cat, right? Now, here's the thing. Kanye was talking to Doja Cat. Who knows if they're going to start dating? You leave her alone, Kanye. She's ours. But also, you have to think, Maybe they're gearing up to work for an album together. You know Doja got her finger on the, on the pulse of the youth. And then there's Venetia, the girl that had you hot and bothered. And let's not forget the rumors about Candace, which mm, you got involved in a scam. You're being sued in a class action lawsuit for a fake giveaway. How embarrassing for a billionaire. But y'all, I think the worst thing that happened Kanye has been ruling Fashion Week. Now, you know Kim because Balenciaga put her in a few misguided Greek God campaigns, right? You know she thought she was going to be the belle of the ball. Shout out to Michael Scott. Unfortunately, that's one thing you can say about Kanye. He rules Fashion Week. Let's not forget when he did that runway show with the Gap or whatever, he actually made his own Fashion Week out of season. Kanye has been all over his bestie and, and Winter been showing up in Yeezy Gap glasses, right? Listen, but one thing that Ann hasn't been too keen on, even though she loves Kanye, y'all, I think, you know, when you break up and like friends got to choose sides because they can't be both, I think Ann Winter actually chose Kanye's side. Why is that? Because y'all, there is live footage of Ann Winter playing the dog mess out of Kim. Now, play close attention. I know what you're saying. Ain't this girl on the right with the gray Ann Winter? No, it is not. I thought that too. Everybody from Bob. I'm like, is that the Devil Wears Prada? Anyway, right? So the late there's a lady in the gray dress, right? And then there's Kim and that Fendi dress, we'll talk about it in a second. And then there's Sarah Jeff Parker in the middle. Y'all, watch Kim's face, right? Clapping, yay, yay, whoop, 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 whoop. Now look at Kim and her social climber face. She sees a target. Oh, there's my good friend Ann, because I guess she thought she got Ann in the breakup or they would actually share Ann one tour. But look at this, look at this. Hi, how are you? There's Sarah Jessica, what's up? Now you know Ann is besties with Sarah. Look at this mess. Look, she walks up and completely rewind that for those, because it goes by in a second, but this is the living emb embodiment of that little thing. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Look at this. Walks up, completely ignores Kim. Now that video is cut off, but there's lots of people that were cracking up over Fashion Week that apparently that connect she had just ain't what it used to be. Why would that be? Well, I'll give you one guess. It starts with Oni Tell. It looks like dehydrated. I don't understand, Kim. You know that old adage, it's expensive to look this cheap, right? Let's look at this mess. Tell me if you see what I see. Now, here's Kim walking through to go into the Fendi show. She's already nervous because she knows she looks a hot mess. You can just tell. She knows she looks a hot mess. She knows she is being judged. Now, why is that, y'all? I'll tell you. The dress is actually really, really cute, right? The dress is super, super cute. But I will say that Kim has unique ability to make everything she wears 
look a bit tacky. And that's not even me hating. She just does. That's her ability. Everybody says when Kim puts on a dress, it makes it look accessible. How's it make it look accessible? Everybody looks and she's like, okay, I see what you're doing, but I think I can do that stuff better. That's how Kim makes things accessible. No matter what she wears, when you look at it, you always, always, always think you can do it better. Always. You look at it and you're like, I mean, cute dress, but I would style it different. I would do my hair up different. I would do my makeup different. She basically is that person that's just like, mm, pass me that mess. I'll show you how to do this. This is what Kim does to clothes. Now look at this again. This is the actual problem. And I think this is why Ann acted like she didn't look at, know her. Look at this mess. Look at Kim's hair. Do you see what I see? Now listen, I know Kim keeps having a fashion moment and I know she's going with her instincts. But girl, will somebody tell this girl, your instincts are wrong. Kim, you seem to be an astute business person or at least your mama is, right? You seem to be a loving mom or at least according to Kanye, the nannies are. Uh, listen, Kim has her attributes, I'm sure, right? But her style instincts have always been off. Before it was Kanye, Courtney dressed you. Before Courtney dressed you, well, you look like a horror story from the 2002 People's Choice Awards. Her instincts are already off. I know what she's trying to do with this dumb ponytail making fetch happen. Tell me how Kim's ponytail looks like the way you do your hair when you go out shopping for clothes and you just pull your hair into a bun. Not even a cute messy bun, but a bun because you're just trying to pull it back so you can see the lines. You know what it is. When I go shopping for stuff, I go with no makeup and my hair looking a mess. Okay, that's my day to day. But why do I do that? Because if you can put on a dress with your hair looking a mess, pull back and no makeup on and it still looks good, you know when you come with all the bells and whistle is gonna be giving it. But not even that, can we just talk about like the way the instincts are always wrong when it comes to this ponytail? Please tell me how. You are trying to go for a loose, messy, clean girl, cool, relax, but you're so type A. You have it sprayed down, shellac down, tracks bumpy, wig not laying right, and then the back you have down. What are you trying to do? Oh my God. Whoever she's paying, <laughs> they getting away with murder. Speaking a way of getting away with murder, right? That was just a segue. It had nothing to do with anything. Tell me why Kim is now talking about she wants to date a lawyer, a doctor, or a scientist. Kim, literally with her broke down tin man, I wish I had a heart realness. <laughs> Who okay this? You know what I think it is? I think these fashion people, Kim comes with her idea, she has a creative team, and the fashion houses are like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we all saw the whiz and I don't think that the Tin Man was actually given any realness, but they're just like, maybe she knows what she's talking about because she has 300 million followers. Y'all, she gonna leave y'all to the pits of hell. But let's get into what Kimmy Cakes has to say. She sees herself dating a scientist, a doctor, or an attorney. The 41 year old television personality confirmed she's single following her split from actor. <laughs> confirm, baby, you ain't have to confirm nothing. He confirmed, he not only confirmed that she, you were single, he confirmed that y'all live in two different worlds. Imagine that, somebody that smells like stale Fritos and got crunchy socks saying he wants no contact and y'all from two different worlds, right? And then he's focusing on his serious acting career and letting you do what it do. But let's keep going, right? They say, Kim said she's not looking for a relationship at the moment, but wants to ship up her approach to dating when she's ready. She said, I haven't really thought about it. That's lies, because Kris Jenner is looking for your next victim. Your whole storyline, your whole storyline is being in a couple. Again, quiet is kept, right? You do a real good job convincing us that you want Chloe, the baby, that Coco the Clown. We can tell, listen, you a clown by blood, not relay Sean. Y'all be chase on. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, right? 
She says she's not looking for a relationship at the moment, but wants to switch up her approach to dating when she's ready. She said, I haven't really thought about it because I'm not looking. Girl, you know you're looking high, low, underneath and still trying to get Elon Musk's attention. I just want to chill for a minute. I think I need some time to myself and the focus, finish school and all that. Girl, you went from saying you were in love and forcing your children to accept some guy that smells like Fritos with crunchy socks that you weren't even dating for seven months, had your kids riding around and had that 28 year old playing family man only for him to break up with you three months after you introduced him for the kids and you're trying to act, now act, act like you're not pressed. You were in there giggling this, that, babe, you want to take a shower with me? And now you're trying to act like you're not pressed. Why not, right? She said, but get this, this shows she hasn't learned anything. But I think my next route, I feel like I have to go different places. Clearly it's not working whatever I'm doing. I don't know, maybe a hospital and meet a doctor, a law firm, I think it's going to be like a scientist, a neuroscientist, biochemist, doctor, attorney. That's maybe what I envision in the future. First of all, Kim, you're going to go to a hospital to meet a doctor. What? For your round six of your BBL? Where's this hospital coming from? What are you going to be doing casually showing up in a hospital? Two, hmm. A law firm, don't you apprentice at one? Don't you apprentice at Van Jones's law firm? Maybe, maybe he can introduce you to someone. If y'all know those Van Jones and Kim rumors, then y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Van Jones is sitting there being like, what you mean? You better be, mm. anyway, let me stop, right? Then she said, I think it's going to be like a scientist, a neuroscientist, a biochemist. Um, Kim, how are you meeting a neuroscientist? What y'all gonna talk about? What are y'all gonna talk about? What goes on in that head of yours? Well, how are you gonna meet a scientist? What you gonna see? See if he can make some special conditioner to uh, hydrate a dehydrated wig. What are you guys gonna talk about? Are you gonna talk about how Roe versus Wade was irreparably changed by contract law? <laughs> Law school panel tells, stand up and let you know. If y'all didn't read the interview, Empire, the interview, Mag interview with Kim, she was talking about how Roe versus Wade, and right now she's working on torts and contracts. And she's, um, and that's really helped her understand Roe versus Wade. <laughs> you can't make this up. Yes, if, if, spoiler alert for everybody that doesn't know legal humor. That means Roe versus Wade was controlled and is controlled under the dominion of constitutional law and constitutional rights. Anyway, right? Again, what y'all gonna talk about? Scientists, neuroscientists, biochemists. I love the fact of two things. One, Kim somehow thinks she's this intellectual heavyweight, right? And two, I love the fact that she hasn't learned a thing used for all your PR answers about what really get people and empathetic. You still haven't said anything about the actual human you're going to date. It's still all about an aesthetic, not somebody that's sweet, kind, patient. No, 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 no. You want somebody that is a doctor, scientist, neuroscientist. Let's look at the evolution of Kimmy Cakes. She's a serious businesswoman now and she deserves a serious boyfriend. Y'all, thoughts and prayers to whatever neuroscientist, um, what did she say? Scientist, neuroscience, biochemist that Kim meets doctors. I don't know. Listen, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.